See guys? The crap is on fire. Up in the air. But I just wanted to say happy new year to you all, and I'm sorry if you guys have missed me. But if you all saw my happy happy Halloween video with Nathan Drake, who did actually show up, I'm happy he did, because I didn't know if he would show up or not, and I'm very happy he did. Because really, he's an idol, in my opinion. He may not look like how he usually does, but thank you, Lord Almighty, that he showed up. And well, I want to review a few things that I've recently gotten over the past while. I want to review today the new album by Chaos, Black on Blonde. But I'll do that later. But I want to review a few games that I've purchased over the past while. I got one for my birthday, technically. Grand Turismo 5 XL Edition! Sleeping Dogs! And my personal favorite, Max Payne 3. Well, I just want to start off with Grand Turismo 5. It says, uh, GamePro.com, or GamePro says it's the best racing game out there. And since the XL edition comes with like over $20 worth of bonus cards and tracks and all that, and I gotta say, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It, uh, the Grand Turismo series has always been known as the real driving simulator, and this one is no exception to it. It is amazing. You got like thousands of cars. You got like NASCAR, rally car, like car. You even have go karts in the game. Like you have like twenty tracks. Some of them are real. And you got like semi plus layouts to create your own with a course maker. You got like a game with rotating seasonal events. No online racing up to sixteen players. Yeah, you got 16 players you can play up to. It's also 3D as well, so if you have a 3D TV, you can play it on your 3D TV. In 3D compatible. I gotta say, it, it blows my mind. I'm a big fan of the Grand Turismo series, and that album blows every other one out of the park. I just love it. It's an amazing game. If any of you have a PlayStation 3, and you don't have that, exclu that PlayStation 3 exclusive, in your library, go on to Craigslist or whatever, go on to Amazon and get the fucking game. I'm sorry for swearing, but still, get the game. It is amazing. I don't care if you guys don't like racing, you gotta get it. Just so you can see you have a badass exclusive in your library. I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. I am possibly going to give all of these a 10 out of 10, I don't know. I don't know what the heck is that? Nothing. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Next up, Sleeping Dogs. Many of you know... Oh, yeah. I think many of you know that this was actually True Crime Hong Kong. I don't know if many of you know about it. It was announced years ago, like, after True Crime New York City got announced. It was going to be out. But then Activision... You know how Activision is. They just like to cut the fat. They just sliced it back and forth so the steak doesn't even look like a steak anymore. It looks like it's a filet. Like, not even a filet, just a piece of meat. Just a, just a flesh eaten piece of meat. And, well, Square Enix bought the game, they got the game itself. And since they were working with United Front Games, you know them. They're the guys that work with Media Molecule for the, the Moving Planet Karting as well as. Mo like Mondation Racers. In this game is also made by them. And they're like they're all developers from like Rockstar Vancouver, Volition, and all that. Anyone that's worked on a like a free room, like sandbox style of gaming a game, they were working at United Front with this. And they made it an amazing Hong Kong experience. You actually feel like you're actually this undercover cop working with the triads. But you also gotta remember when it comes to something like this, there also comes loyalty. You gotta be, like, be true to your roots. Like, you gotta be true to the cops and to the triads. But that doesn't mean there's, like, there's a lot of crazy things you can do. It's almost like Max Payne, to some extent. But, it's also got something like UFC Kung Fu fighting moves, which you assume would be in, like, every series of Hong Kong movie. Which, well, I also gotta give it a 10 out of 10. Amazing game. 
And up to number three. <laughs> no pun intended. Max Payne 3. I've been waiting for this game forever. And when I was waiting for it, I never knew when it was going to come out. But I just know that when it did, I was shocked. I know my friend Willsey's planet. it. My friend Dex, aka GTA Complete Web, on YouTube is also playing it. Willsey on YouTube is also playing it. Well, all three of us are buddies. And while they played it, they told me I should get it when I had the chance. I did on Boxing Day. That's also when I got Sleeping Dogs. And, well, Max Payne 3, just absolutely stunning, amazing, just, it's a brand new Max Payne series game in, with using the Rage Engine, which I didn't think would happen for a long time. I never thought it would actually be released, but when I heard that Rockstar Vancouver was getting it done, Few years ago, I was surprised because they just really bullied when I heard about this. It was like 2008, I think. I mean, I heard they were doing it, and then when it comes out, they get closed down, which kind of thumbs down on that. But and again, the guys at Rockstar Vancouver moved on to United Front Games, so I don't know that bad. At least they still got something to live for, you know. I gotta give that one a 10 out of 10. All three games are 10 out of 10. I'm not trying to be a fanboy of all the games, but, like, there are some times where the game, like, where Max Payne 3 kind of freezes up a little bit from time to time, but that's beyond the point. Sleeping Dogs also has its issues here and there, but I'm not doing that, like, I'm going to be more positive. I'm not going to try and be negative about them. I want to be able to talk about them and be happy with it. And, uh, next... Chaos is Black on Blonde, the first ever double disc album in Canada. And uh, if I do this, excuse me, the black part of it. Yeah, it's double disc. And then it goes like, here's the track list. Like a comment, we wrong, get you in Corey Hart, Diamond Sky, Next nice to know you, which was the intro that I played. CLA, featuring Travis McCoy, nobody else one time. I'll do on, try again, featuring Black Thought, MTV, and it's Bring My Pen, featuring Socrates and Shad. If you don't know Shad, you do not know Chaos. And then here comes the blonde side. Another picture right there. And that one is, well, it says the dog is mine. Don't touch alone in my car. Well, don't touch featuring Sam Roberts alone in my car. Down your phone, Billy Bragwinners, featuring Jane Alnowski. Surf's Up, featuring Sebastian Granger. Wonder Woman, as my guitar, well, I'll play this game. Wonder Woman, as my guitar, Deadly Streets, and then Blondes. It's a 19 track album. And it's amazing. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys, but if you all live in Canada, I definitely think you should get this album. And here's the inside of it. It's a digipack, kind of. It's one of the kind of style digipacks. But, yeah, you should definitely get this album. I recommend it. And, even though my videos have been known to run long, I apologize. I just... Sometimes I have a lot of stuff on my mind, and I don't really get to express it. And that's why they run so darn long, and there was no audio. I only want to have a quick intro, and now I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna have to play one song and one song only, just to finish this off. Just to finish that off. Just bear with me, people, because I want to be player library. I don't have a playlist set up for my stuff. But hey, at least I'm talk. I'm making another video today, so. I'm just happy that I was able to make one today. I've been doing things over and over and over. I've just been busy. And I might make another review of so many other games I have out of my house. I feel like PS for the PlayStation 3. Sorry about my hair. My hair is a little messy today. I may make another one. I don't know when I will. But when I do. It will probably be about one of the other games that I have in my library. And 
Sorry guys, I'm really, really just tired today. I haven't really gotten much sleep. Well, down. If I want to do the next few things, I'm possibly replying to you about. Be safe, guys. Thank you for